back, baby. Just getting a swim in at the moment. Um, doing some breath work as well, so. All right, so ahead of the big day. Basically just lining the stomach with the good stuff. Um, just getting my daily greens in because it's probably the only healthy thing I'll eat today. This is where it gets exciting. My mouth's watering because I know we're about to get shit-faced on fried chicken. Oh, I'm a legit enthusiast, so today I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give these three places a run for their money and critique them, but hopefully just love them with all my heart. What do I look for? Just needs to look dirty and messy, and you kind of want to look at it and know that. You're gonna spend hours in the bathroom afterwards. <laughs> That's, you just want filth. I mean, the hot's still got a bit of spice, right? Yeah. Yeah, just two, two hots. So this place, they've got one called the Stinger. Um, I mean, you don't have to be Einstein to know what's going on there. It is the ultimate marathon from the land, which is the city of Babylon, dressing my head, don't confuse me for sin. All right, so we pulled up, we got all the chicken set, and I like to eat it with a bit of a view. So as you can see, Perfectly set up on the rear wing. The exhaust, hot air rises, keeps them fresh and warm. Like the first thing I noticed is it's just got weight. It was, I, when I opened the box, it was quite messy, as you can see. Um, so that's what I want. I want. I want an experience where I feel like I need a shower afterwards. And I'm getting that from Fritzy. So, so far, really good impressions. Mm. Um, what I probably didn't say before, the bun. If it's a dry bun, get out of my face. So this one is a place called Daybird. Um, I believe more of like a Korean style. It's gonna take me a while to get down to actually what's inside this, but let's start with the chicken itself. <clears throat> Whew, Daybird, oh yeah. Daybird's a sleeper. Wasn't expecting it. Um, I will say, oh, the bun's not too bad, a little dry. But the chicken is is good. <sighs> All right, my mouth's on fire. Last but not least, Howl and Ray's. Keep it Howl and Ow. I just love the color of Howl and's chicken. It's just that deep red. You know it's you know like you're in for pain. I'll legit recommend all of these. Like, fuck, it's hot. Ah. Uh, oh, my mouth's on fire. Holy shit. I don't think I should have got hot. I'm not mad enough for this. But it's so good though. It's like, the flavor's so good. All right. Um, Sweating. To conclude, I need to go find a bathroom. So they gave three packs of these. So I'm saying once for your mouth, then another pack would be for your hands. But I need some help. What do you think the third one's for? I need to put this one down for a sec because I'm on fire. But don't be fooled, this is a great experience. <laughs> I would recommend this stuff. It's not part of your everyday diet, don't let it be. But let yourself live a little, let your hair down and get either some howling, oh, some fritzy. Fritzy sounds very German, so I want to say like, das ist gut, ja? And we got Daybird, which is Korean, which I don't know uh, anything in Korean. <sighs> I think we got to close this one out on the toilet. Hey, I was thinking this actually, <laughs> the way I feel right now, it could be the last time I actually eat fried chicken. Give me a minute, guys.